Thank you very much. First of all, I should like to say that I think it is excellent that we have this discussion uh, here today, that in a week's time we shall be able to continue in Chisinau. We have our delegation there, and uh, we have uh, the board meeting of the Euronet Parliamentary uh, Assembly, which is going to give us the possibility to discuss this further. First of all, I should like to uh, refer to something which uh, has certainly struck Germany and uh, elsewhere, the fact that uh, when we talk about President uh, Dodon, half of the money which uh, uh, has gone from Brussels uh, to Moldova over the past 10 years seems to have leaked into the uh, pockets of others and disappeared. I noted that President Dodon in this year also uh, was uh, uh, participating uh, in uh, the region, but up until today, we haven't managed to get into the details of uh, where that money which uh, disappeared, which came from Brussels, uh, has actually gone to. So. I wonder whether we should continue to pay monies to a country which has a president uh, which seems to play a part in the seeping away of money into corrupt pockets and, in fact, should be responsible for that money. I think that uh, in these uh, transformation countries, these countries uh, which are moving towards the West uh, and uh, have a partnership uh, with us uh, should ensure that uh, there is a proper mechanism in place to combat uh, corruption. So uh, we've been uh, um, told that uh, the president has been uh, requested, has requested, that we've requested the president to be tougher about this. Uh, this is something which we do need to ensure happens. Uh, and as some speakers have said, there has been progress in legislation in Chesenau. But when it's a question of implementation of a reform of the justice system, this is not happening. And the same applies to the administrative reform and for all structures which have been created to combat corruption. But uh, as I said, it's not happening in Chisinau.